So another quick and dirty trick that you can do with your mind using NLP. And you can use this on yourself or with your coaching clients or friends that you're helping or uh, whatever kind of change worker you are or just changing yourself. And I wouldn't do this in full-fledged phobias or anything like that. Uh, for that, I recommend actually taking one of our trainings. Uh, we already teach how to work with phobias in our one-week class um, that we do live in Bali, Amsterdam, Los Angeles, um, Miami, Mexico. But we also teach it in our online foundation class. If you want to have more information about that, just hit me up, send me a DM. More than happy to send you the info. But let's say it's a, like a, a mild fear or a mild thing that bothers you and there is a trigger in the environment. Let's say uh, on Bali, it's one of the locations where I train, the, the dogs bark really loud. And I, I know that the loud barking dog is not going to do anything. It's just how the dogs are trained there to be really loud. But it feels very menacing, if you get the idea. So what I do in my mind is this. I make that dog bigger and bigger. You know, I'm bigger. And, and at some point, I make the dog bigger and bigger in my mind. So at some point, the dog is as big as the whole street <laughs> and the whole island. And so what happens inside the brain with this blowout, is what you call it, is that initially, because I'm making the dog bigger, it seems to be more fierce. It, it seems to be bigger, so I should be more scared. But at some point, the dog becomes unrealistically big. You know, like the, I think it's the marshmallow in a Ghostbuster. It becomes unrealistic. And because it becomes unrealistic, your emotion neutralizes or even becomes funny, you know? So that's a, a really quick and dirty trick that you can use on the brain. And you can do this in, in many different ways. Just to things start to become funny or ludicrous. And I believe if you can start laughing at your problems, it's usually a good thing.